What's up, geeks and gamers? It is I, your humble DM, Chris with a dagger. And today, we're going to take a quick look at how to handle a big, massive army of mobs going up against one little fighter. But before we do that, here's a quick look at how you can help support the Geeks and Gamers tabletop community. Please consider supporting our mission to bring guilt-free gaming to the tabletop community by liking this video, subscribing to our channel, and possibly even becoming a channel member for access to exclusive videos, Geeks and Gamers tabletop emojis, and more. If you found this video particularly helpful, please consider leaving us a tip using the Super Thanks feature located next to the like buttons at the bottom of the video. As a DM, there's nothing more frustrating to me than when I'm deeply into it, got my whole narrative going, and I finally get down to business with the combat, and there's that player who rolled really, really low, like we're talking abysmal, like we're in the single digits kind of low, and you know, they're getting bored, the snacks are running out, they're looking at their phones, they, they, they've got that whole, I really don't want to be here right now. Meanwhile, they're waiting for all the other players to go, uh, and there's that one player who's got to take a really, really long time describing just how he dispatches his foe with several ums and uhs. Or maybe he just took too long to decide what his attack was going to be, sort of waited till the last minute to actually like, oh, 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 yeah, now I'll do this. You know, it's like you had several other turns to figure out what you were going to do, but then it's neither here nor there. Just, you know, practice some better gaming, tabletop gaming etiquette. But regardless of what the case might be, there actually is a system in place to help expedite the process. Say you've got a whole bunch of orcs or goblins or kobolds, just, just a, a real simple cut and paste enemy. They're not really there to, to make a huge impact. They're just sort of there to serve as some cannon fodder, something real simple that the players can chop up and feel big and strong. Uh, there's actually a process to help lower the amount of dice rolls that you have to actually do. Uh, there, it's actually right in the Dungeon Master's Guide as a handy dandy table for how you can sort of decide just how much damage is going to be thrown at the player's way. Uh, let's take, for example, my, um, my paladin character, Alistair. Uh, he, he is a, a paladin legally distinct from Solomon Cain. Let's say we've got him up against eight kobolds. Now, according to this table, what you need to do is determine the minimum dice roll that the kobolds are actually going to have to get in order to hit Alistair. Now, the kobold has an attack bonus of four, so they would have to roll a 12 because they're going up against Alistair, who has an AC of 16. Four plus 12, that's 16. <clears throat> Uh, so, according to this table here, for every two kobolds attacking, one of them actually hits. So, that means that out of eight kobolds, four of them hit. You see, this streamlines the process of rolling. Uh, rather than actually rolling to see if each individual kobold hits him, I just decide, okay, there's eight of them, and with their combined efforts, four of them managed to actually hit Alistair. I actually held up the wrong number of fingers there. I'm a good DM. <laughs> but this makes it a lot simpler. Um, you would just decide how much, to, how much the total of damage would be. Now, say that you have one of your kobolds equipped with a special weapon, or they do two attacks, and each attack has a, a different type of damage. Well, then you would resolve both of those attacks separately. But one important thing to remember when you do have a much stronger enemy in this group, um, that enemy always hits. When they're attacking as a group, that one always hits. So you would just resolve attacks this way until eventually Alistair, uh, who's probably all beat up and cut up at this point and bloodied, looking super cool, actually managed to narrow down their numbers a bit. 
then you could start rolling the dice as you normally would. But anyway, I hope that helps. That has been a quick little tip for you fledgling DMs out there. I hope it helped. I really wish someone had explained this to me when I started out, but I, it's partially my fault. I just flew in half-cocked. But that does it for this video. Let me know if you'd like to know any other tips or strategies. Uh, but for now, please be sure to like this video, subscribe, and leave a comment down below. And of course, check us out on Gilded. It's a great way to connect with other gamers just like you who are looking to experience guilt-free gaming. You can talk to people like myself, Sevi, Arudai, and people who just want to have lots of fun without any of that whole state your pronouns nonsense. But that does it for this video. I will see you next time. Thank <laughs> you.